Okay, so hey, what's up guys? This is my friend Captain Diaz of back with another video of Gaming Justified. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the mind-blowing facts about a very very famous game that we all have played in a lot of big consoles and it's Tetris. And this is one of my most most favorite game and kind of say the one of the game which I personally played very first time was this game Tetris and there are some crazy crazy facts about this game and we're gonna talk about those facts in this today's video. So without any further ado, let's quickly get started. Let's start off with the development of this game. It was developed in 1984 in Soviet Union. Yes, it was named by the Soviet Union before it was uh, and afterwards Russia. And kind of a say, uh, Tetris creator Alex Petroy uh, created this uh, Tetris while working in a computer program, the Soviet Academy of a Science Computer Center in Moscow in 1984. And this is kind of a say, he he spent his spare time dreaming about the puzzle games and he developed this game. It is kind of a say really really good to hear that dreams come true and uh, personally this game is really famous and there are a lot of big big copies of this game too around us and uh, it is uh, from the one bit I kind of say it was there and uh, kind of a say currently we all love that race and uh, if you are a person from a 90s then you definitely gonna be having your hands on this really really good game of your PC and this was a kind of a say a really well advertised game and it looks really fun and really good in puzzle solving and really helps your mind to get yourself boosted. We all have a big problem with the Tetris and that is those puzzles but do you know before that puzzles are been so problem they actually have their own name yes if you take a close look on the of all the letters then there is f i l n e t there is o p q r s t u v w x y and z and uh, personally speaking i wasn't knowing that thing and uh, if you play little little attention to this game then you definitely gonna be knowing that thing which is kind of a say really really crazy. Now you might be thinking how the name of this game actually came up. Tetris is a combination of a Greek and the creator's favorite sport. Tetris name is a portmanteau. Yes, uh, I'm just letting the word. Uh, where the sounds and the meaning of the two words are combined a new word. Tetris come from a Greek word tetra meaning four and tennis creators uh, likes to play tennis and uh, so Tetris was how the game uh, the name of the game came up it is not even you know connecting to the concept of the game but yeah puzzle definitely the Tetris comes up first in your mind um, the developer wasn't setting out to make a game when he developed a Tetris he was trying to show people computer could be easy to learn in an interview um, of uh, CNBC, he actually talked about it in 2014. Um, say that Tetris was a lucky to be a messenger for early customers of the computer. It's not just a sophisticated thing to deal with the numbers and the spreadsheet, but also a fun toy to play simple engaging games. It was important for people to feel better about the computer. That was a very important role of the Tetris at that time. And to be frank, a Tetris wasn't designed to make a computer seem uh, less intimidating. And uh, it was kind of a, say, a concept which uh, seemed to be a really, really fun game to play on a lot of 8-bit arcades and a lot of consoles. Now you might be thinking, at that time, the games were kind of, say, boosting. Then how this uh, puzzle-looking game became too much famous, it basically spread through privacy. And uh, even the NES version of the Tetris, was a basically a pirated part. The original NES version of the Tetris was released by a company called Tension, owned by Atari. Uh, that's uh, just one problem. Atari didn't have the rights to produce a home version of this game. Rather, its license was uh, for arcade version of the Tetris. It runs out uh, Tetris had asked the, pet, uh, the developer for permission to release a home console version. The game uh, 
in trade to Russian government. So, you know, that was a big, big problem at that time. There is a really good, better version of the Tetris named by the Soviet Union Mind Game Tetris, and it was uh, represented as a tension. And uh, the recall of the tension release uh, was a minor tra tra strategy for a video game fans because it was a superior for a Nintendo version in many ways. In addition to the standard game tension released, feature a competitive mode, the NES version locked uh, multiple difficult modes which kind of say related to a lot of factors which uh, you know afterwards uh, having the license uh, to the USSR granted a license look for the Tetris, Nintendo and Tension decided to shoo Nintendo claiming its rights to distribute its version to the Tetris. Tension launched a case in June 1989 with the US District Court just issuing the injections uh, injections are stopping for the sales of this Tetris game. Only the one lakh copies of this game were sold, which is kind of a still uh, really crazy to hurt that one lakh big number. If you are from the 90s and you, if you are related to the game industry, then you might know the Nintendo's and the game's uh, Tetris rejection were going on uh, when Hen Hank Rogers of the Bulletproof Software first picked the Tetris for the Game Boy to Nintendo. Nintendo didn't uh, didn't think that it would work because it wouldn't appeal to little boys. Roger responded, if you want little boys to play Game Boy, pack in Mario. But if you want everyone to play Game Boy, pack in Tetris. Because Tetris was a puzzle based game, right? So not even kids, but also the grown-ups would love to solve the puzzles. And if kids would be engaging, then it definitely going to be encouraging, encouraging their mind to more get focus on this game. Nintendo shipped more than 35 million copies of Tetris with the original Game Boy which is a kind of a say really crazy and it was the original version from the Nintendo which is uh, it, it still gets hard to find the original version still packed because uh, you know it was uh, so much so much famous and it spent out uh, too much that you can't even imagine. And uh, after a lot of lot of research and stuff done, Pegora developed a mode for Nintendo Yoshi's the Cookie on N S N E S. Uh, Tetris helped keep off a wave of the intense puzzle game, leading to the field flooded with the immigrants. After developing well Tetris and head Tetris, yes, uh, those were kind of a say um, related to the Tetris game, but uh, they were having some ups and downs. Uh, this, but. Uh, they want to work for Nintendo, the company helped to break the game to the mass market in the first place. Nintendo hired him to develop the special puzzle mode for the Nintendo port of a Yoshi Cookie game. And uh, puzzle mode required players to clear field of cookie within a limited number of moves, which is kind of say, you know, we all know in the Candy Crush, you have a limited moves and you have to clear the game, which is really, you know, intense and stuff, which creates a lot of different different possibilities in your mind. You can see the contribution of this game all around us and uh, Yoshi's Cookie were kind of a say really famous of the NSES game and many people engaged with this game. And it was also, yes, it is kind of a say hard to believe but uh, Tetris was the very first video game played in the outer space in the Game Boy. So yeah. It is kind of a say really really good to see that uh, games are also played by the astronaut. Yes, they definitely going to be playing the games because it is a simple thing that each and everyone loves. So yeah, those were some of the awesome gaming facts which are kind of say hard to believe. The controversy and stuff of this uh, Tetris game and uh, many people don't know how to pronounce it and I might be the one of it. Because I am too poor at pronouncing these types of uh, difficult names, and uh, personally, the developers and a uh, lot of uh, names are been so well not pronounced by me. And yeah, the game blog of this game is kind of a puzzleized, so don't judge me over that stuff. So yeah, this was uh, all kind of a crazy facts about the Tetris game. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about it. This was Captain DRS. Like, share, subscribe. Gonna be appreciating our work. I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe, stay connected, play games, but don't cheat. This was Giving Just Fire. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.